Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, we want to give our praises to your house. Our Hashem, our Shai, our Shai, our Shai, unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Right. Most I tell you, and I say, guess what? I prophesy against the universe. I'm going to destroy. At that point, you never get destroyed. But the ultimate, you get destroyed. What happened in the scripture? Because the most I say something, now come the boss. And we've been seeing it playing out over and over. As him say, we are witness. But everything he said, you see, come to um, the boss. Therefore, we know that his word is true, and he is the power, the hour. Right, go on. Have a book two and one. I will stand upon my watch and set upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables. What is the vision? The prophecies. What is the come? Make it plain upon the table. Right, the table we have today is the Bible. Come in one book form now. But then they have tablets. Because they are stones or they can change the scrolls. Right, modern day, 29th year of Karagma. Right, referring to the mark of the beast, which are quite ancient. Right, we have a book form now. Right, this is a table, so we have to make it Everything is written. Right, I think the Bible in uh, every single language for the place of the earth right now. English is a universal language. Right, almost every country 
Or maybe because the post that was going to English. Right? We have it now in English. But, right? Explain. You can read it yourself. You wanna? That he may run that read at it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. So the vision, the prophecies, is for an appointed time. And the scripture already tell you. That's the house I don't know when I'm going to You see me? That secret is only until um, Yahweh. Right? So nobody to know. But we know say Yahweh shall come back. We know say the most say destroy America. Mr. Mr. Babylon the Great. We know say um, the prophecy of the mandatory implementation of the RFID chip is going to um, happen. We know the time of Jacob trouble is coming. We know the society is coming to an end. But half the time, we don't know. You see me? Right, for instance, I'm leaving Ezra Senat. He said to the angel, You show me all the um, uh, brother can give me a um, second um, Ezra's line as well. And then, I'm saying, You show me all of the, um, the things that come. But after you find the time, you're going to show me. Right, because I guess what? No, no, we don't have it. You know? It wasn't given to that if the angel no more went either. You see me? But nevertheless, we're sure it's coming to pass. Right. Wanna? But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it shall, it will surely come, it will not tarry. Yeah, so it will come, yo. Like for instance, you know, um, what do you them put them? They put them the um, NIDS, which is the system of the mark of the peace, we're supposed to be implemented in Jamaica. You see me? But we know it's a kind of prophecy, no matter what them say or do, it's half coming to pass. No matter what generations pass, like how old people like that, how old they're granny, granny. That's right. That's right. That's right. No, no one, no one. Any ideas is back on the news. <laughs> you see me? Right, I don't believe you know I prophesied from 2010. You see me? Even before me have sent. Right? And we we'll see the play out now. So do it, Terry. Wait for it. Now, like for instance, even the bring this um, situation. Right? We're really supposed to exit the EU. We'll be in what? The scripture. Daniel, the second chapter. Right? And each time they delay, they keep the cat down the road. But nevertheless, we know it shall come to pass. So all we have to do is wait for it as the scripture says. Right? Because everything is prophecy. As the pastor say, yo, we are pushing prophecies. But we are what? Prophets. So come out here, tell you, and that sets you apart from every other, every other person out here, yo. You see me? And this Bible sets you apart from everything else. Because this is the only book to tell you things that come come thousands, hundreds of years before it comes. And now one of them not fear. And here one somebody for the face of the earth to show more practice for fear. Alright? None. And Stephen said, none um can give me this bubble question. Isaiah 34 and I think number 6. This is Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek the oath of the book of the Lord and read. Right, that's the Bible. Born. No one of these shall fail. None, sh none shall want her maid. For my mouth it had condemned, it had commanded, and his spirit it had gathered them. Right, so, so none of these shall fail. None of the scriptures, none of the prophecies will ever fail. You will not want to find you. When you go from say you and repent, you bet. You see me? I see them in the boy now. Come in the house, I hear people, and you can never really do it, and I look like a liar. And the house, I'm ashamed, so no one has said, go. And ultimately, the most I destroy anything. Because it's all prophecy, yo. But guess what? The most I can work from full time. We ain't got the predicament, so who ain't come from yesterday? Is it more nevertheless, yo? We can't hear some people. And the most I born by him, by him, right? And the most I born by him, right? And the most I born by him, right? And the most I born by him, Have I showed unto all men, but unto thee and a few like me? Then answered I and said, Hold, O Lord Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai. 
Thou hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the last times. But at what time thou hast not showed me? Right, so Israel's looking at the time. There's a man in like 2000, or what, 2019, so they are getting delivered. Uh, we only person knows that lady of God. Who can blame niggas to that, yo? <laughs> Please, because just because a nigga say, yo, and if the God, who was them to them wrong? 2019 was still there. You see me? Right, so we get delivered in 2020, we're not sure. You see me? But at the time, yo. Okay? No, I said nobody know the specific date in regards to when they set up the most high return. None of the prophets them to get it. No, no, no. I don't understand this. Oh, the sign you don't understand? Yeah, I don't understand. Alright, so. There are 12 tribes of Israel. Yeah? There are 12 tribes of Israel. Yeah. But they don't match these people. Why do you say that? All these people are Gentiles. All them are. Um, uh, so who you believe are the Israelites in the Jews. Jews, the people in Ireland right now? In Israel? Yeah. Not all of them, but most of them. Alright, but according to the prophecy. Well, we cannot get it. Which prophecy? We get it right now. Who's? Um, Which well, prophecy? Moses. We many prophets. The Moses. Moses. Yeah, prophecy you know, yeah. already been fulfilled though. No, not all of them. In uh, Genesis chapter 49. Right? Uh, well, that was in Moses. Well, Moses right it. But um, you speak of uh, when um, when Jacob be a blessing sons, right? You get it? Right? Yeah. You speak about Shiloh. Right? Until Shiloh come. You know who we refer to by Shiloh? No. Right? Shiloh is referring to the son of the Mosai. Right? Right? Shiloh is come back here. So that prophecy is like a full billion. But um, nevertheless, even you turn to me 30, 30, um, the full billion. But we'll go back to this. We have, yeah, we have to understand this. Yeah, we have to prove this. 20 years. Is this not making any sense? No, we have to keep making sense now. Yeah. Because when the world gets um, told, is that the white people in Ireland right now are the two Jews. They're not white. So far. So far, right? Yeah, but have you met any of them? Alright. The world. Have you ever met any of them? Yeah, you see them. You start to you sit and eat with them? No. Read what they read. We don't, we don't need to. Meaning you've been, been to their country. No, we never go there. Go there. Well, that's oh. it. Yeah, I reach over to Jerusalem. We don't go over there. But they're but we they are, the plane. They are <laughs> them, you know. The people yeah. in Jerusalem now are not the true Jews. They are. No. no. You believe in the Bible? Yes, I read, right. read this so, inside out. Girl. All right, good. So we are going to the Bible now. And we have to go according to the scripture. You didn't know what's about the way. The Bible describes uh, the so called Jew, uh, the Jews, right? And the Bible Jews are basically shot in Judah, which is a kingdom of Judah, represent um, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Right? It describes them as um, so called God. You know that? Yes, but. Alright. How long ago did that happen? So, so we asked them to change color now? Why? So they changed from so called dark to so called white. What was the explanation for why? What's the explanation? Yeah. If you live in a hot place and you move from a hot place to a cooler place, you're not going to stay the same color. Who said that? Who said that? Yeah. It's not who. It's what it shows. No, the Moors conquered <laughs> Europe and they were still dark skinned. Who? The Moors conquered Europe and they were still dark skinned. Yeah, who are they? Who are the Moors? They were Negroes. Yes, but the point I tried to make is they didn't change color and they conquered Europe and they yeah, but for where, are they, where, are, where were they though? Where were they? In Europe. But how long were they there? Centuries. How long? Centuries. Alright, so we have a problem, right? Hmm? Shall come to pass. What is? And it shall come to pass. Say no, yeah. This is a prophecy. But guys, I 
read it. Read it. Let's read it. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Alright, then who Moses here talk about this? And I'm saying, he is going to be the whole of the last them. Moses has set them above all nations. He said, the Israelites are here and keep all the last them. This is Daniel 9 and verse 10. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws, which he had set before us by servants the prophet. Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy laws, even by departing that they might, might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of Yahweh, because we have sinned against him. All right, right. so they break the laws and the curse them or fall upon them. True. And he said, that only that Daniel. Right. And in the time of Daniel, the after, Daniel was having visions. Yeah. So right. he decided to do a 21 day fast. Am I correct? Yeah. And what happened? Him, him sit, the vision. angel come to him and explain the Who vision. Who was the angel? Gabriel. And what did no. he say to him? It was Gabriel. No. What did he say to him? Gabriel was one of them. No, matter of fact, it was Michael. No, it was Gabriel. Michael and the Lord it came to him. It was Gabriel. Came to Says who? Right. So what anyway, we, we need to debate that. Yeah, we're going to read it valid right now. Yes, it's valid. The reason why I say it's valid is because the angel came to him and said, and he was found in Persia. That's where you right? And he was bound in Persia because the powers that were trying to, the prince of Persia was trying to kill the Jews. That's what was happening. But he couldn't leave. So the archangel Michael came and took his place and he was able to come to him. So he told him that when he prayed, well, well, when he well, prayed well, to, to get the answer yeah. to his vision, he God answered his prayer. You were because he was found in yes, here. Because he was found in for 21 days, All right. he had so, to come and answer his prayer. All right, don't put your word. So, what I'm just saying that, he's he's not just saying that he, they didn't follow the rules. And Persia did take over yeah, Israel. Yeah, but that yeah. happened already. Yeah. The history point is already there. Yeah. 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 yeah, we agree. Yeah. We agree. No, but the prophecy. And then, oh, and that part of no, no, what oh, we'll 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 show you know, is that we we'll transgress the laws then and we'll get cursed. That's the only reason we want to listen to them. So we agree with you that we are just not, not following the commandments. No, 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 no. May I say, with, um, the Israelites, them break the laws them and then get the curse fall upon them. That was the only reason so we're really really you know? no. we not disagree with you. So we are going to yeah, we get okay, okay. So we are going to um, chapter 68 now. Verse 68. Yes. Alright, it's a new turn with 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Alright, this is another prophecy, right? One. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again All right. with ships. So, we ask that question. You know what the, the, the which, which language the Bible was first written in? 
must have been Hebrew. Alright. All right. No, you know the word the Hebrew word here for the um, Egypt? No. Alright, so the word the Egypt here comes from Hebrew, Matasar Yum. Which meaning um, a double street or a position of hardship. Right. So they are going in a position of hardship again, one. Street. Remember the first time they were going like that's destination, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they're literal like Egypt. One. Shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. Now we have a question for us. Which nation as a whole are the people in the island? What are they right now? When have they ever went into a position of hardship by ships? When am I going to stay by ships? Yeah. Oh, people them people in the island now. Let me ask a question. When Persia conquered them, they took them all over the place. In ships, in all types of things. They really did. They had, they had ships. They had ships. Yeah, um, uh, they are Syrian. Many they are Syrian. Many of them are Syrian. They are Syrian. They are Syrian. They had ships. Under, under the, Firstly, per Persian, the Persian Empire is where Turkey is. But they had ships. They had all. But they never transferred them from the inland and take them over. They say Persia. Why ships are safe as a nation? So, because oh, my question to you then, you know, they, um, when they left from Persia and then go up to the land, which ships did? No, the, per the Persians actually gave the Israelites permission to rebuild the temple. Yes, but that is that, after. Yeah. Who, who gave the permission Cyrus. to go back? Cyrus. But then they Cyrus were in made a decree. Um, Cyrus. Right. Cyrus, Cyrus made a decree. Yes, yeah. because they were, they, were taken, they were taken, they were enslaved on ships. But no, and they were the never said that. To many different places. But no, but no, no, part, no, no, no part of the scriptures don't say that. Right, brother. It's not that, and that's another thing you need to realize. Anyway, it's not all in the scriptures. Well, it's there there in Persia. Anyway, see, you know? see, see prophecy there? Yeah. Where's that bring it? See prophecy there? That mm -hmm. When, that's the um, prophecy. We get taken from the west coast of Africa. You see me? As everybody no, knows about Cabo Slave too. The trans at now. Which people? Prophecy. Which people? Prophecy. Time, time as in physics, what do you mean? So far? Yes. So you know how prophecies are going to fulfill right now? Yes, that's the revelation. That's yeah. the end. No, no, no. You have prophecies written at the Old Testament. We're going to fulfill it. No, those. Most of them have been. All of them. No. Of course, we already know. Which one? What? I get the bubble. Hold up, hold up. The one with the Egyptian one? All of them have been fulfilled, bro. Read, um, read. Jesus come already. Hold on, brother. Read Ezekiel 36, verse 24. Yeah, Ezekiel 36, verse 24. Oh. Yeah, yeah, ask it. Well, you can ask that question. Hold on, hold on. We need to ask that question. So you said the Jews in the land right now. And the Israel and the Jews in the land. Right? You know how the state of Israel was formed? The present day state of Israel. You know how it was formed? Yes. How was it formed? What? This is about... After after the Ottoman Empire, which is no, the state of Israel. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. All right, go on. After the Ottoman Empire, yeah, went into the region, took over the entire Israel. This is okay. probably about two hundred years, ago, and basically made the place Palestine. Uh -huh. The UN decided to take all of the Jews who have been scattered again <laughs> and put them back to the same place. Okay. That's what happened. Okay, so, so the UN, so the UN yeah, which, the which UN. you think was the British government, not really UN, is the British government, it's right? Just the British signed the Bomb War Declaration in 1940 right. to make the Israel state. Yes. That's how they got to the land, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes. Because okay. by the way, God, God's people God, have God, always God. been discriminated. We have a match that against the scripture. Cool? Alright, read. Ezekiel 36 and 24. For I will take you yeah, from um, among the heathen and gather you out of all countries. Right. And this is what the Lord say, man. Him, I'm going to gather the children of Israel out of all countries whither they have been scattered. Not the UN. Not the UN, you know. Him, I'm going to do it. Hold on, listen to this. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Watch the camera, brother. And will bring you into your own land. Right. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, right. and ye shall be clean for all your filthiness, and from all your filthiness, right. and from all your idols, and I will cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, right. and a new spirit will I put within you, and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. Continue. And I will put my spirit within you right. and cause you to walk in my statutes right. and ye shall keep my judgments and do them. 
Right. Fight. My question to you is, <laughs> right? Because this, what this is telling you know, is that when the Lord delivered the children of Israel, when he when he collect them from all the four corners of the earth and put them back in their own land, and say, I'm gonna purify them, I'm gonna make them perfect, then I'm gonna keep them lost perfectly. The Jews in the land now, are they keeping the laws perfectly? No, they're not. So how can they be true Jews? The biggest gay parade is, is kept in Tel Aviv every summer, every year. Right. That's a big transgression of the law in, in, in yes, the Jews. Yes, but not all of the Jews. No, no, it said, no, no, no. The scripture said all of them are going to be righteous. No, not but, some of them. But by the way, guys. Come on, man. Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? this is Ezekiel. I'm just trying to see. This yeah, prophet is not fulfilled. Mm -hmm. I know that prophet is not fulfilled. Not even really. Well, you, well, no, it's just that all, all the different prophets are being fulfilled. No, not all, all of them. I have to say I'm wrong. I have to say I'm wrong. Not all of them have been fulfilled. Right. But many of them have. Yeah, some of them have. Never said that. For example, many of Isaiah's prophecy have not been fulfilled. Exactly. That hasn't been Okay. But that is not. Do but you that agree? doesn't have to do with the fact that the Jews weren't the Jews, like the Jews. Do you agree the Jews? that the Jews in the land no don't match up with this prophecy? No, this is that is the end. That prophecy is the no. End. It's a when them when they bring them in the land that I got them. Not when they go in the land. No, it's been over fifty years. So how the hell am I changing? What do you mean? Them still are sin. Them still wicked. They didn't recognize the Messiah, bro. That's right. So how did they not recognize this Messiah? But them still get delivered by the Lord. When, when them, when them how they reach their land? How they not being delivered, bro? So how they reach their land if the Lord bring them in there? The scripture said the Lord are going to do it. What if we read our next scripture to show you exactly what happened when they come back to land again? Read um, Micah 4 and 1 now. This is Micah 4 verse 1. But in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established in the top of the mountains. That's talking about Israel. Being established above all nations. Right, go on. And it shall be exalted above the hills, and people shall flow unto it. Right, continue. And many nations shall come and say, Come, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, and to the house of God of Jacob, and he will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his paths. Right. For the law shall go forth out of Zion, right. and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. Right, continue. And he we can finish. And he shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations afar off. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares right. and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. That that's, not that's not fulfilled. Exactly. Because <laughs> that will happen when, when the <laughs> true Israelites are put into the land. No, no. nation shall not go come up against them anymore. No, right but, now, but Israel where, over there is still up in war. Like said Jerusalem. But where yeah. is that Jerusalem? The actual Jerusalem, when the real Jews are there, they're not there now. So you so, are a part of the real Jews. So you see when the right. people oh. go over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so who are the Gentiles? Gentiles? Come on, come on, come on. We yeah. have become <laughs> Gentiles. Right? So who are the Gentiles? We are good. Let me explain something to you. We can break it down. We can break it down. No, we might break it down. The reason why I ask that is because you have to respect the fact that I can, the same Bridget I know, he can identify which tribe he comes from. Yeah, I know. He can, you know. I know. So what are they doing? They're telling lies. Why would they tell lies? Why would they tell lies? Hey, you know what the Jews said? You know what the Jews said? Listen, bro, 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 bro. Let me tell you why. I am fifth, fourth generation I know. Yeah. Okay. Why would I tell a lie about that? Why would not, I tell a lie? I'm not saying that. No, I'm saying you are lying. lying. I'm saying that they are lying. Why would I tell a lie? Hold on, hear me out. Why would I tell a lie? I'm not saying you saying are lying. No, I'm, I'm just saying no, but they I'm saying, are lying. I am saying in that if they have their history, yeah, two thousand years, which history? Yo, that, so what? Hold on. I'm just saying. Why would they lie? Let me tell you why would they lie. Because they know that Israelites have a certain blessing to get. And they would like to be that person but why would who would get that blessing. Like the scriptures oh tell that we will be blessed above all nations. We will be with oh God's on earth. That's the blessing from Abraham. <laughs> passed down to Isaac. Yeah. Passed down to Jacob. And they want that blessing. The scripture tell that Esau seen wanted a blessing from the beginning. See? This is why they're down there pretending to be us. No, you ask who are the Gentiles. Who are Gentiles? The foreigners are strangers. They are true Gentiles. Gentiles 
who are actually of the other nations and not Israelites, but you also have Israelites that became Gentiles because of their actions, because of their beliefs, language and all that. First Corinthians 12, and 1. And our, our tree, our two, one of them. Oh? Listen, listen to me, brother. Listen. 300 years before the Messiah came, right? The Greek Empire was ruling. Right? Give me, um, Maccabees? One and, and the Greek Empire was ruling, right? And under the Greek Empire, there was a certain king called King Antiochus yes. Epiphany. Antiochus IV. Yeah. Right? When he ruled, he made a decree that all his nation. I make a decree that all nations under him rule must give up their religion and become Hellenists and become Greek. But did they? Well, 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 a lot of Israelites consented to that. The scripture said, you can read it. read it from the scripture. Right? So those Israelites who decided to forsake the laws, uncircumcise themselves, and all them things there. 300 years later, the people who descended from them will have Greek names, have grown up with in a Greek household, learning Greek customs, listening, um, learning Greek um, religion, philosophy. But they, would, they have become Gentiles. I get what you're saying. Right. But no, is there no one? I'm just saying, out of that, is there no one? Yeah. No one. Yeah, you do. So, continue to follow. There were some of Moses. There were some who did not consent. No, but where are they? Where are the ones who still followed it? Where are we they? Go. We go and read about that. They were in the land when um, we're still in the land. No, they are still there. No, 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 no. they're not. When, when who came? When, when the Messiah came. came. Who broke the two years ago? So where are they now? They, they okay, are still in a seventeen. We run. Seventeen. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, look, look at my student, Chief. Don't look at that. Hold on, hold on. Go all of these. 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 This is the Greek. This is from the Greek Empire. This was before the Empire. This is before the New Testament. This is before the New Testament. I thought this was 20 years before the Messiah. So where is the New Testament? The New Testament. Let me share the New Testament. So the New Testament is gone. We are all, who defended all of those books to ensure that they weren't burned? The same Israelites that read them and wrote them. Alright, now for the la for the entire part, right down to the river, who defended it? Who, the people who defended it? Did they still not keep the laws of Moses? Yeah. Up to not now? all of them. Yeah. Up to now? Yeah. Up to 70 AD, we, the true Israelites, were there. Then when Vespasian and Son Titus in the Jerusalem and destruction, they put that run. into the Jewish state. And we take ourselves going on the western coast of Africa. So what happened to the books then? The western coast books were preserved. They were preserved. Right. Right. Then afterwards now, in, a nine, in a 1945, and so, what about, so what about so what about the Solomonic dynasty? Then? So that's from the Gideon. Yeah. 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 the Ethiopian dynasty. Yeah, what about that? It's false. False. Yeah. Some of them are false. Yeah. 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 So they have all the No, no, they do not. They have the books. They have. You know, you know what they have? The Kebra Negas. That's it. We just store them. The Kebra Negas. That's the only thing that they have. The so called. They have the Ark of the Covenant. No, they don't. So Jeremy, I did, and nobody now can find it again. The Bible, the Bible. Right, it's it's the Bible. Bible. <laughs> yeah, if you know what you have find it again. Yeah, no, but you, by the way, if you go and ask them no, they will tell you. It doesn't matter if you lie. Tell us something. You know, you know who's born apart? You know Napoleon born apart? Alright. Napoleon born apart is a very, very famous thing. It's a history. It's a lie commonly agreed upon. You know that? No, but I don't agree at all. Yeah. <coughs> never you never lived 2,000 years ago. So whatever the historians tell you, you believe that? No, I don't believe it. So brother, I don't believe oh, you it. know say, the Ethiopian are the believe, real Ark of the Covenant. The only thing I believe is what the Hey. Oh, you know, you know, 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 you know, you know, so you know, so you know, 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 you
You think the Bible you can yeah. you read it? Get rid of the Bible say get higher and nobody can find it. So you see that you believe the Bible? Or you believe no, some more? Why no, why why couldn't it be hidden no with the Solomon? There's no problem. Why why couldn't it be hidden? And nobody. You mean nobody no find it. Nobody. So you know who you know, you know, you say hide it? You know who you say find it? Who who had it? Jeremiah. Hmm? Jeremiah was long no, it after it coming to us hundreds of years. Can you find the priest of you want to read a little bit of history for your wife? Yeah. You would read it from. So, this is the history from Babylon to Timbuktu. Babylon to Timbuktu, I'll read from page 84. In the year 65 BC, the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. In 70 AD, General Vespasian and his son Titus put an end to the Jewish state of great slaughter. During the period of the military governors of Palestine, many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. During the period from Pompey to Julius, it has been estimated that over one million Jews fled into Africa, fleeing from the Roman persecution and slavery. The slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. And you are going to be seeing complexion in one of them, Let's show you one next history. Let's show you one next history. The people in Ghana right now, right, the Akan, the Ashanti, and the Havanti, and all them different people. Did you know that they have historical records to prove that they were from Jerusalem and fled into Ethiopia first, and then into the Sahara Desert, and then into Western Africa, and Northern Africa? Did you know that? That the people who came over here in the transatlantic slave ship all traced their route back to Jerusalem. There, was a, there were two ports in, in Western Africa called the Port of Judah and the Port of Benjamin. Isn't it? There are actual tribes in Ghana that trace their lineage back to Judah and Benjamin and largely Levi as well. Those are all historical documents. No, I haven't. I don't need to go to Africa. We're not talking about the rest of Africa. Western and Northern Africa. Yep. Not all Africans are Israelites. It's a record for the Africans. No, but no, it's not, the argument is not if Africans are not Israelites. We know Africans are Israelites. Yeah. We know that. No, no. no we know yeah. some are. Yeah. We know that. Northern and Western. Yeah, we know that. Yeah. So in Ethiopia, in the same place. Ethiopia is not. So there are no Jews in Ethiopia. So why when the famine happened? Why when the famine was happening? For the last hundred years, why did they go to Africa to take Jews from there and turn it Same as well. And if you know it's like the Palaian Jews, you know what Palaian means? Because. Yeah. No, but why? You know why, why they did that? Because, do you know why they did that? Because the Bible said. No, no, I'm telling you. It, it, exactly. No, the ones because that Because the Bible said. Say the Jews them are so called black people and the people and the people in Nairobi say, hold on, if the Jews them black and we know so called white, what go on here, sir? No, so it's the so know. called white one who went for the black ones. Yeah, so we tell you why they're the white ones who know that the black ones are. <laughs> yeah. black Wait, as I just said, the oh, yeah. same one who, who has said he's he's, yeah, he's yeah. white and well, quote unquote white. They are not. They are not. It's um, Ezekiel 36. And verse 5, he said, Therefore, therefore thus said the Lord God, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all I do me, which have appointed my land yep. into their possession yep. with the joy of all their hearts, with despiteful minds to cast it out for free. I want to ask you a question. Yep. You think you know a little bit of prophet? When did Edom take hold of? Israel. And who is Edom? And who is Edom? I tell you when when they do it, right now, 1948. So the people down there know, the so-called Caucasian people, they are Esau. The brother of Jacob. What is always the envy of the people? White people, so that's not true. The people over there right now in the land are Amelie. No, me and Tessie were saying. So-called white people are Esau. So who are the Muslims? Who are the Muslims? Muslims, Muslims are the Arabic people. Arabic people came over here. Hold on. Arab, Arab means mix. See? So the Arabic people you call them come from different, different nations. Largely, they come from Israel. 
Arab literally means mixed. So, where are they sending from these are now? White people, yeah. they're in the island right now. It's like it's pure blooded Caucasian people. Are the descendants of Esau. They're red just like how Esau is red when it comes out of the moon. You remember the Bible? Esau was here. I thought they read the Bible back and forth. It's red all over. <laughs> Red. Oh, okay. Yo, I'm gonna say if I run it. Oh, I get it. I get it from anybody. Hold up, we better hear it. Wait, I'll stop, 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 um, reject the fact that you are. Alright. I'm gonna be swimming up with you. It is, um, I mean, firstly, my Is it a cast of the thing that is good? I cannot tag it. My last name is. Gunfire from where? From your mother's side or father's side? You're going to go to your daughter's Watch your mom. Firstly, bro, I can't identify it. Is that a possibility that there are roast bread fruit in there? I cannot tell you. I can't identify it. Possibly, I can't identify it. Anyway, let's show you from the Bible. So when he used come out, the bread had Jacob, cup, and he looked so called white. Alright, let's read. Is this Genesis 25, I'm going to start 23. He said, And the Lord said unto her, Two nations, um, can I start this one? Are two nations are in thy womb, and two man of people shall be separated from thy bowels. We're going to have Jacob and Esau, that's Rebecca, the father of them. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. Who was the elder? Right. Right. And when her right. days to be delivered were fulfilled, right. behold, there were yeah. twins in her womb. The twins. Yeah. He said, and the first came out red all over like an eerie garment. And they called his name Esau. First came out what? Red. Like a red. So you see the man when they call white, he's not actually white. Because if you look on a Caucasian person, you're actually right. Because you see the blood coming with you. Especially if you're staying at the sun, you're told. If you look up the word Esau, it means wasted away. So it's, it's actually a pinky shoe yeah. that they have. Yeah, so I would say so far white and so far black. So Esau is going to be there just in my house. No, it's from my son. No, I didn't live. 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 I want Bible. So you basically say that all white people are the same. All pure blood is God is an acceptance of will. You are going to see this. Malachi. I'm sure you saw it. Your lineage will come from your father. Whatever your father's lineage is, go all the way back, that's what you are. What about my mother? That's how your lineage goes. David's grandmother was a Moabite. That doesn't stop him from being an Israelite. The 12 tribes, the father, the only father of 12 tribes, all their marriage is known Israelites, but their children were Israelites. Numbers 1 verse 18 And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month and they declared their pedigrees of their families by the house of their fathers So this one lineage a little known Anyway, let's see that So and so, the son of so and so, the son of so and so, the son of so and so That's how you lift your lineage So if your father's lineage go back to Esau, you're an Edomite Even then why, why would God reject one entire Israelite? Go read it. Go read it. Go read it. This is Romans 9 verse 11. For the children be not yet born. Yeah, no, read from Mal Malachi first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old Testament prophecy. I'll show you a fulfilled life news. Yeah, I listen. I really listen. This is Malachi 1, 1 verse 1. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, say the Lord. Yet he said, We're in as thou loved us. Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob and I ate Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom said, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord of indignation forever. The yeah, Lord of indignation against those people, Edom, forever. I'm going to read from the New Testament. This is Romans 9, verse 11. For the children be not yet born. So, see him, Jacob, and Esau, we are talking. 
neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to the election might stand, not of works, but of him that calleth. This is important. He said, before them even born, before them the good or evil, they choose one, not because of works, but because of election, because him choose one. One. Oh my word. It, it was said unto her, The elder shall serve the younger. And this is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hate. That's it. Plain and simple. So before them even born, one was predestined to be the hated one. And one was predestined to be the loved one. Right? Alright, guys. So the last thing now. Yeah. Me up, okay? Yeah, what? Because what? Because what? Because what? <laughs> you see it now, bro. <laughs> it's only, right. So you're basically saying the whites will be discarded. Hey, man, we just listen. The Holy Bible. No. Okay. I believe in Okay. Jesus is the center of my life. Okay. Now, during my life, I have to get guidance from others. And at about 15, I was guided by a white man. Okay. And I'm sure he's probably pure bread bread white. Okay. He not only guided me, he guided my no. father. And he guided thousands of other children. I did. Thousands of our camp. Okay. And he died in of the 2030. Oh, okay. No. It's genuinely because of him and his belief. In Jesus, why I decided to continue on this So, are you saying that in the end you will be thrown into the lake of fire? Nobody feel like we're there, one good place, you know. Nobody. <laughs> so, I'm not teaching nothing good, just, just bear all, that in mind. No, no, it don't matter. No, it don't matter. It's a very specific question. Do you think that a man who committed his entire life to Jesus Christ, did not marry, taught other people about the Bible for his entire life, will be thrown into the lake of fire based on his skin color? If they teach it according to the scripture. First of all, let me explain something. Right. Lake of fire, and you just know it as legal, no, no, no. is actually speaking about thermonuclear destruction. End of this present society. Isn't it? That's going to be brought on by thermonuclear bombs. He's already dead. He can't burn a lake of fire. You know what he's going to do? I'm going to reincarnate and be a slave. If something that happens, he's going to eat up my head. So let me explain something. You know. This is not about skin color. Right. Yeah. This is about lineages. Right. And a seed whom the Lord chose and a seed whom the Lord discarded. Okay. There are brothers in our camps abroad who look like Caucasians, like right? China. But whose spirit are visualized and who also descend from a so called black man, which is an Israelite, right? So it's not the matter of the color of the skin. Because if I'm an Israelite, I'm a dark, like midnight. I'm me, my one, either mine. I'm picking to come out with the brown. The brown pitney is still a Israelite now because I'm my seed. And if that brown pitney go my one next white one again, the pitney go even browner. It's still an Israelite. But it start looking like a Caucasian now. It's not about skin color. It's about seed. What will happen if he's an Edomite? He will suffer slavery. If he's an Ish, if he's an Israelite, ultimately he's gonna be blessed in the kingdom. If he's not an Israelite or of the other nations, he will be a slave. So it wasn't about his good works on earth. What good work? Who says that's a good work? Good work. You what you say say you say but right now, right now, you, right now, you think you're in a good place because of what you want. But you're not in the You don't even know your nationality. Right? You're believing in a concept of Jesus Christ that, that did not come from the Bible. Because the scripture tells you clearly that Yahweh Shai, whom you call Jesus, came to die for the sons of Israel because of a prophecy that was. Luke 1 16. We're going to read from the Bible and Acts 5 verse 31. Let me just look at Acts 15. At the end of the day, what will happen to Father Joseph? If he's an Edomite, he will be a slave. And, what and makes, after a thousand what years, he's lineage. Nothing. Follow alone. 
So you're saying that. Yeah. So you're saying that. Yeah. If he if he is descended from Esau, so he is uh, bold uh, for this structure. And the descendant of Esau is based on what? The color of his skin? No, no. Oh, based oh, on your oh, father's oh, lineage. Oh, but oh, your father, 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 father. If if that go back. To Esau, so it don't matter what he did in his life. Yeah, no, it don't matter. Why? You know, because ah, the, you know, the scripture says, the people again will be down that dignification forever. Sometimes. And again, so that way when the you, it wasn't the righteous so word. Huh? What if that is me? Then judgment is me, it's going to meet you. It's as simple as that. You hear what you say? judgment. So judgment beats the way you guys. No, no, no. You hear what you say? If, if so, if so, be that. Well, the thing is, not the fact that we're out here teaching. Remember, you said it's a lineage. Yeah, the fact that we're out here teaching, the fact that we would understand and believe on these prophecies. That belief was only given to the children. Yes, yes. It yes, was sir. never given yes, to them. Yes, because the promises themselves were never given to them. Right. Can you imagine me make a promise to my son to give candy or some other thing of you don't believe in him? You can't believe it. The promise was never given to him. The promise was only given to my son. Therefore, only him alone can have We're going by you guys, you guys philosophy. No, we're going by the Bible. I'm going by what you guys believe. Because obviously what we believe is a bit no. Going by Bible. Look one, hold on, hold on. I'm sure we're going to find that. Are some of you guys descendants James of Jameson? No, 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 we are descendants of Israel. No, no, none of you. No, we wouldn't be out here. Okay. 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 Yeah. Lineage. You remember I said you said we wouldn't be out here. We have to look. You know you said based on lineage. Yes, we have to look. Yeah. Why? Because yeah. because you believe. Yeah, man, that's the first step. No, no, I got. You believe it. Next thing, let me clarify. You know, we believe it because we are of. The lineage, right. and because we have chosen, we are chosen from our the lineage. So, uh, how many of, so, how many so of you guys are here? Uh, William. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. There's no number. <laughs> William. No. This is Romans 8 verse 16. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Right. Talking about the prophecy. Luke 1 16. This is yes, Luke sir, chapter 1 verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, yeah. for he had visited and redeemed his people. Is that New right. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. Right? Um, and had raised up an honor of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Who is that honor of salvation? From the house of David. Now listen. Jesus. Alright, good. Whom you call Jesus, but he's right in the house. Right? Go on. Um, he said, as he spake yes, by the mouth of yeah, the what? as he spake by the mouth of, the, of his holy prophets, right. which had been since the world began. So the fact that the Messiah came and died for Israel was prophesied from the world began. Right? I know that. Yeah. Okay, good. What? That we should be saved from our enemies. First thing, that we we who the Israelites should be saved from our enemies. So that means that the Israelites have enemies. Right. Sheep among which are the Edomites. Right. From the beginning. All I can say is, the well, same, well, 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 the same, the the same people you guys say that are not the real Jews uh -huh. have war zones all around them every single day. That means that they have the most Jews. enemies than anybody yeah, in the history of no, India. That, that don't mean that they are Israelite. According to the scripture, if they did the Israelite, they would have peace in their land. And the mother, no, the because the revelation hasn't come yet. No, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. You know, you know what? A, you know what? A, a, a Jew, so a, um, a so-called Jewish man said. No, I wanna have against his people. No, listen. As the precept when reads earlier, it said, once Israelites, the true Israelites, are in the land, which is Jerusalem, right? We are got peace and we are got the band. Now, which true who, Israelites are those? Aren't those the 144,000? You, you are saying, part of the Israelites. You are yeah. saying that Luke won them in Ireland. That's the 144,000? Those are Israelites as well. Am I, but those are not the only Israelites well, in the world. Isn't that 144,000 when the revelation occurs? Yes. Yes. When the revelation, yeah. so, brother, yeah. revelation yeah. that we read, we read, yeah. lines up with the detail. Right. And it lines up with Isaiah 60 and 61. Right. Exactly. Uh, so all the reason they learn for the Lord for them. What we are no, saying, but the not we are, we, we, we are saying in our form. What we are saying is that when, when, and it happens, Jesus when no, the Israelites, no, no, brother. When the Israelites come back into the land, the Lord are going to return again the second time. Yeah, we'll the word is going to be extended. What the fuck? If the Lord is going to put them there. Guys, anybody there right now? I forgot, but if you didn't know, what? If, 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 if you didn't know, hold on, stop. If you didn't know, if you if, if you interpret the Bible wrong, 
meaning if I interpret it wrong mm. and you interpret it wrong, yeah. God doesn't condemn us for that. So at the end yeah, of the day, that we should be saved from our enemies right. and from the hand of all that hate us right. to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, right. the oath which he swore to our father Abraham, right. that we, that he would grant unto us, that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear. That's what the Messiah came to fulfill here. Promises made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and to their seed, service. not to their whole world. The Messiah is a fulfillment of the promise that the Lord made to Abraham, that was yeah, so so what, about, what, about the part, what about the part Jacob in the Revelation where the, he brought up the 144,000 and the other people came up and he said, those are Israelites. Those white clothing? Israelites. The ones in Israelites white gathered from among all nations. The same thing we read in Ezekiel 36. Yeah. When it says, Yeah, Gentile yeah. Gentiles, yeah. Israelites. Yeah. Israelites yeah. who became yeah. Gentiles. Yeah. You were once Gentiles. Exactly. Carried away until these dumb yeah. idols. You see them same, same Jew there where we are on pretend? And them lead over here in a slavery. If something that they do, they were they were the majority of the slave right. ships were bought by Jews. Right. So-called Jews. Right. Understand that here? The majority of the lies that are propagated over here in the West are propagated by so-called Jews. Guys, right. some some of what you're saying makes sense and some of it doesn't. Because you believe a lie, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if somebody that you're ordained to believe that lie... No, but it's not what I'm ordained. Why condemn me for what I believe? Because the Bible condemns you for what you believe. No, 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 we... No, Jesus says to condemn no one. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. That they might be damned, that oh, believe right. not the truth. Jesus said that, bro. Jesus oh. Jesus, I can't even say that. Jesus said 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 that. Judge, judge but if he judge whatever he um, meet in measure, measure the same to yourself. Right. That's the next time. That's the balance. Because even Paul wrote in Corinthians, he that is spiritual, judges all things. So did Paul disobey the Messiah? Because Paul said he that is spiritual, judges all things. Yet he himself is judged of no man. You know, I'm going to pay it to Dr. Wright, you know. Exactly, so why am I judge people? But Paul is an Israelite. Exactly. We are Israelites too. Judges set up.